Hey guys, this week in art, we're going to be drawing, you guessed it, a page full of cats. Now take a look at all these cats. They all look a little bit different, don't they? They've all got different facial expressions, but one of them looks more different than any of the rest of them. And that one, that's kind of obvious, right? That's this pink cat. Now, when you look at this artwork, your eye kind of goes to that cat first, it looks at that cat first because it's different than all the rest of them. So that is what we call focal point. So we are going to be working on emphasis, which means focal point. It's one of our principles of design. And another principle of design, which is contrast. Contrast is something we have to use in order to create a focal point in our artwork. Contrast just means when things are different from each other. For example, something big and something small, warm or cool, or black and white. So when you look at this, where does your eye go first? Obviously goes to the black, right? Because it's the only black circle on the page. Everything else is white. So it's the focal point. And the way we've created that focal point is using two contrasts of black and white. On this one, our focal point was created by using color contrast. This one has color, a bright color, and the only color that these cats have are the colors that um, are part of the, back, of the background. So, what we're going to do today is um, continue watching the video. I want you to follow along and you might want to get your pencil marker and get you something round to trace with. So we're going to be filling up our page with some circles so we can do some cartoon white cats. So if you have a piece of construction paper that already has color on the back of it, you can use that or you can just lightly color the background of the paper with crayons, whatever color you would like. What I've done with this, I just put a really light watercolor wash over it earlier and it's dry now, so I'm gonna use it as my background. So hopefully you have something round to trace with. So what I'm gonna do is just go around my paper and fill it up with, I don't know, I would say maybe 10 or 11 circles. So I'm honored going off the edge. So I've got 10. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put some uh, facial features in. I'm gonna do some eyes, nose, and some whiskers. And of course, I'm gonna add some ears on. So let's get started here. Remember, we're just going to try our best. We don't have to be perfect. Add some whiskers. And I'm going to turn my paper so I can make the faces look like they're like some of them are looking one way and some are looking another way. I'm going to put a little grumpy cat right here. And in contrast, I'm going to put Happy Cat right here. This little kitty's going to have a big nose. But that's okay. He's happy. 
or she's happy. Since this one is just showing half its face, obviously I'm just going to put one eye and one ear. I think I'll give this little guy some glasses. Try to make all my cats look a little bit different. Okay, so now I've got facial expressions on my 10 cats, and I want to make one of my cats stand out. So, what am I going to do? We are going to pick one of these cats, and we're going to give it a completely different color than all of the rest of them. And the rest of them can stay like they are. So, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with this cat. And I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna turn this kitty green.
So there you have it. We've got a page full of cats with different facial expressions and we have used our principle of contrast and we've used our principle of emphasis on focal point and we've created a green kitty cat as our focal point. Guys and gals, have fun and I will see you soon.